it's Buster C4 here, and welcome to the first episode of Field Tests. Today I'm going to be ta taking out the uh, Live Target Smelt. That's a little jerk bait type thing. It's about two inches long. Uh, I can't remember the way, it's like an eighth of an ounce, I believe. Uh, it's super realistic. Uh, it should work really well in this lake. So uh, I just got it rigged up on my Quantum Matrix bait cast reel. Uh, Gander Mountain Vortex medium heavy action uh, bait casting rod and uh, 10 pound Bass Pro Shops Turny Tough Mono. So we're gonna get it out on the water. I'm so it's a bit windy today, guys, so I'm sorry for that. Uh, gonna make conditions a bit tough. So uh, I'll get back to you. All right, guys, got first fish of the day on live target smelt. Nice. Little largemouth. T-boned it. Just doing a straight retrieve, guys, instead of jerking it. He's got plenty of spunk in him. These are extremely sharp hooks. I've hooked myself on them. And they're very, very painful. I think I might need the pliers to get this out, guys, because he choked. Actually, he didn't choke it, but he demolished it. Actually, I might not. Oh, God. I really don't want to risk putting my hands very near those, uh, God, hooks. So, sorry about this little fishy, but, uh, if you're not going to cooperate and behave nicely, then, uh, just going to have to you do not like this, do you? Can I risk? You guys are all gonna think I'm a wuss, but uh, I'm really not. These hooks are probably sharper than Gamagatsu. I'm not actually sure what the brand is. Yeah, they're just about as sharp, if not sharper, than Gamagatsu. Now, that's not a very big fish, guys, but it is a fish on the uh, Life Target Smelt. Let's get him back. Not gonna do one underwater release. That's the fish, guys. Now, let's take a look at how I caught him. But he came out of that drainage pipe over there. Alright, so that's no good. Uh, somebody, uh,. Somebody's car is going off. Anyway, let's take a look at how I caught that, guys. So, it's moving in day here on the campus, so it's busy. So basically, guys, just cast it out. Cast it along the shoreline, but whatever, and just slow roll on it. Not retrieving it really fast, not retrieving it really slow. So I shouldn't say slow rolling it, but, um... Still getting the hang of it on the bait caster. Might have been better if I'd fished on my ultralight, but whatever. It's kind of slow rolling it, guys. I can feel it. Okay. I'm sort of slow rolling it, sort of just medium rolling it. That, that was a great cast. Kind of have to sling it out to avoid getting a backlash. Anyway guys, that's how I'm fishing it. Just cast it out, reel it in. Pretty simple, just fishing it like a crankbait. Why is there a car there? I don't think that's a road. Been fishing it here for a couple of years, guys, and I've never actually seen a car on that road. Right, I don't even think it is a road. Okay, so that's weird. But anyway, just casting out real in. I'm using a um a seven zero to one quantum matrix bait casting reel. Alright guys, just caught a bluegill on the uh, live target smelt. Alright. It won't be okay. None the worse for wear. 
barrel hooked him, but uh, it's still a fish. I'm sure, the lure he tried to attack. I think he was attacking it. Let's get him back. Oh. Sorry about that, buddy. Get back to you. Alright, guys, this one hit right at shore. Uh, crushed the uh, little uh, live target smelt thing. Thing we do, hicker. Again, guys, super sharp hooks. So, uh, let's kind of want to wait till this one comes down a bit. Alright, good thing I have my pliers on me this time. Oh, right in the same place, pretty much, as the uh, last one. This is be really risky. Alright, one hook out. There. Glad that didn't go wrong. Get the uh, pliers out. Pop that hook out. Oh. There we go. Good little bass, guys. About the same size as the last one. I had a three pounder on that jumped off. Which is really, really annoying. There's the bait, guys. There's the fish. Great fish guys, let's uh, do an underwater release. It's really windy, so yeah. Well there he goes guys, great fish, I'll uh, we'll get back to you. Alright guys, got a uh, nice bass on. On the, uh, thank you. Largemouth bass. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good, huh? Yeah. Only one? Uh, no, this is, uh, my, uh, fifth one of the day. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank yeah. you. Uh, guys, this one's feisty. This is the best one of the day, and, uh, of course it would get hooked. Are you gonna try and hook me? Good, 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 good. Uh, don't, 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 don't. No, no, no. Alright, guys, there's the fish. That's probably the best one of the day, certainly the fattest. The guy was just congratulating me on my fish. I've never been caught before. Well, guys, that is a uh, good fish. Let's get him back. Great fish, guys. So guys, I'm, uh, I'm just pulling some weeds off my bait, and I look at this, and I realize that these fish, even though they're not very big, <coughs> could have been one of the snags, too. I've had to get wet a couple of times to get this lure out. But one of the one of the, um, the points of the uh, breast treble has been bent out. So if this happens to you, on this bait or any other, you just take your pliers, you grip it like right there. You just bend and push the shank of the treble up and you twist the pliers. Now that's a lot better and I'm probably going to lose a lot less fish. So guys, I'll get back to you. Alright guys, got another bass on. It's a little guy, but uh, still a lot of fun. stickier than duct tape. Get that hook away from my hand. Oh, <clears throat> knew that was going to happen. Fish. Oh, you 
contract, guys. On the... Uh... Alright, guys, so I gotta go. Uh, about 4 o'clock. Got here at, I don't know, 2.30 maybe? Three. So I've been here about an hour and a half. Uh, maybe two hours. I can't remember exactly when I got here. It was somewhere around 2. But... It was a really good day, guys. I caught, I think, six or seven bass. Six, I think, and a bluegill. So, I really like the lure. I got my, uh, my, gator, my uh, Gatorade bottle and get gone. But I really like the lure, guys. It's uh, great. I would highly recommend it, but only really if you have money to spare. Um, great lure. Uh, you can fish it like a jerk bait or a crank bait. It's uh, a whole bit floaty. Uh, great for murky water, where you need that, uh, that flash. But, uh, other than that, guys, great lure. Fishing on a bait caster, fishing on a spinning rod. Um, yeah, I mean, it works in the wind. But not the best conditions. Uh, I like, I always like a calm day, guys, when I'm fishing. But, uh, it's a great day. Had a lot of fun. And, uh, Pretty much it. It's a great jerk bait, crank bait, whatever you want to call it. It's about two inches long. Uh, if you have any questions about the lure, uh, I'll leave them in the description, which would be like down there. So, yeah, I mean, I'll try and, and answer them if I know. I mean, Live Target makes it, so Live Target smelt. So, Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Those are two things you should do. And uh, I'll get back to you with more videos. Bye!